daily devotion with Pastor Bala for February 25th, 2021 from Luke chapter 8, Letting the Light Shine. Jesus, after teaching with a parable about the sower and the seed, then changes direction just a little. Jesus says in Luke chapter 8, verse 16, No one, after lighting a lamp, covers it with a jar or puts it under a bed, but puts it on a stand so that those who enter may see the light. Okay, well, this may sound an awful lot like common sense. It wasn't fire prevention month, of, so that Jesus really didn't need to warn the people about taking an open flame and putting it underneath your bed and hoping that it doesn't catch on fire. No, Jesus wants to put things a different direction. When we light a candle, it gives off light. So why is Jesus even speaking about it? Isn't it kind of obvious? Well, Jesus kind of explains why he needs to be so obvious in the next verse. Verse 17, For nothing is hidden that will not be made manifest, nor is anything secret that will not be known and come to light. So let's connect this with the parable of the sower and the seed, where seed was the faith. On the good soil, we may remember that faith grew and produced fruit. Jesus is using the same idea here, that light, which would represent faith, is given to a person as a gift. And then what does the light do? Just like the seed sprouts and grows and produces fruit, the light of the gospel then produces its fruit. How? By shining and illuminating the way for others to see the forgiveness of sins that comes from Christ. The light shines out as a guide and help people. So Jesus is reminding us not to keep that gift of faith hidden. As baptized children of God, we do not hide the gospel message of the forgiveness of sins, but we share it. For if we hid a light, it does no good for others. But if we share the light, it will help others. The fruit of faith is for others to enjoy, not for ourselves. So if you consider a fruit tree, does it really get any nourishment from the fruit that it creates? The answer is no. It gets its nourishment from the ground. So we also are nourished from the grounding of our faith, which is where does it come from? comes from God and his holy word, not our fruit. Notice the warning then that Jesus gives. Verse 18, take care then how you hear. For to the one who has, more will be given. And from the one who has not, even what he thinks he has will be taken away. Take care how you hear how you hear that word of God, because it is the word of God that we are strengthened, not by the fruit that we produce. So again, the purpose of Christians producing fruit is for others to enjoy the benefit. So we let the gospel for the forgiveness of our sins shine forth in our lives, which serves as a beacon for others to be drawn by the Holy Spirit to Christ Jesus. All the while we are shining, we need to continue to remain connected to Christ and his word and sacraments, because it is through that word and sacraments we continue strength for our daily living. Just like a caregiver who has the responsibility of caring for somebody in need, they first need to take care of themselves, otherwise they cannot serve very well. So also for the Christians, in order for our light to shine to other people sitting in darkness, we need to take care of ourselves by being connected to Christ and his word and sacraments so that others may see Christ through us. Join me again tomorrow as we hear about the mother and brothers of Jesus. God's peace and many blessings be with you, and thank you for watching, and please take an opportunity to share this message with others. If you have enjoyed these daily devotions, please consider making a donation to Peace Lutheran Church, 24024 West Main Street, Plainfield, Illinois, 60544. 
Thank you again for watching.